What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video and today I have a DIY project. Now, I was moving some stuff around in the tank and you know how I always complain about, you know, ah oh, dang, I got a, bris a bristle worm through quarantine. I was like, ah, you know, it's part of the cleanup crew. Well, I was moving some stuff around in the tank and I found that, yeah, I got a little bit more bristle worms than I want to have. Granted, I could always reduce feeding, but with my Antheas in there and with my uh, Mandarin Dragonette in there, that I'm also feeding all the uh, brine shrimp and I'm also feeding the blood worms once in a while. I have a lot of food in the water that kind of goes uneaten. Now, I'd rather have the problem where I'm overfeeding my fish and dealing with the, the bristle worms as opposed to, you know, not feeding my fish enough and having less bristle worms. It's kind of a catch 22. So today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY bristle worm catcher and we'll see how well it works. So stick with me and let's get started. All right guys, this bristle worm trap is going to cost you next to nothing. You need some straws, which got these from Sonic, you know, recycling, reusing, and a water bottle also reusing this. Um, so pretty much materials are next to nothing. Just save up some of your junk you got running around. My plan is to cut this into four. So put four on this side, four on this side, cut holes in here and put the straws through the holes and it'll kind of sit on the sand bed. And I'll put some food on the inside. Hopefully some of the worms will, you know, be attracted to it, get all the food on the inside. And I heard that, you know, you might want to put some um, like filter floss or something, quilt padding in there or cotton of some sort, just so that the wrist worms get kind of caught up in it, kind of like how they do in filter socks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. And just like that, my janky water bottle bristle worm trap is complete. Now you probably want to use this water bottle is like super thin and it kind of, you know, presses in a little bit too, um, too easily, but that's just going to sit on the sand bed just like that. And then hopefully the bristle worms will go inside of it and get trapped. So let me go and weigh it down. I might put a little bit of sand in it, not too much, just enough to weigh it down. And I'll also throw in some food, maybe throw in some quilt batting, filter floss, just seeing what I can do to catch stuff. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so hindsight, it was perfect on the bottom with just a little bit of sand. Um, I did put some um, frozen, uh, or not frozen, freeze dried brine shrimp in it, or mysis shrimp in it, and a little bit of uh, sand, some little bit of pebbles, not a big deal, it wasn't moving, it was sitting on the bottom fine, and then I kicked on the wave makers and it started blowing around, so that's why it's kind of sandwiched in between everything. But um, I think it should be working. We'll see how it works out tomorrow. Um, right now, the, um, the mysis is kind of at the neck of the bottle, at the very top, right behind the cap. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Nope, you can't really see it. Well, it's up there. So. We will come back. I'm going to come back in the morning, but I'm probably not going to film it because it's still going to be dark and I got to go to work. So this is probably going to be in here for mm, maybe 20 hours. Yeah, probably about 18 hours. So we'll come back in 18 hours and see what it is. I'm probably going to fix some of these so that they touch the ground a little bit better. Well, guys, I'll be totally honest. I completely forgot that this was in the tank because it's been one of those days at work. So let's take this puppy out and see what all it caught. Yes, all the fish are out and they're happy because I'm feeding them. So let's see how many worms I caught in here. And then I might do a comparison on how many I can pick up just by uh, lifting up the rock and uh, sucking them up with a turkey baster. Well, that did a pretty good job. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then I have two in the bottle uh, Maybe 15 let's say between 15 and 20 just to round up because you know They're probably caught in here, but yeah, so between 15 and 20 bristle worms in this container I don't know. Oh, is there a big one in there? Maybe so between 15 and 20 and it took 24 hours for that to you know work out. Um Not too bad. I mean 
I'm thinking I want to do a test and see how many I could get out tomorrow if I just go in with a turkey baster and suck up stuff underneath the rock. So I will be back tomorrow and I'll compare this cheap, like free method essentially if you have the pieces, to just using a turkey baster and just doing it manually. If you know that they're in there and you have a low flow area, let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn off the flow and get a turkey baster and suck some of these puppies out. 15 to 20 is the magic number. All right guys, so you can see I went around and kind of sucked up everything with a turkey baster where I knew that there were some dead spots where I figured detritus was settling. That's where a bunch of these bristle worms came from. So I'm comparing my turkey baster um, with about seven minutes of work in the tank. You know, it is kind of a pain in the butt to uh, just putting in a uh, empty bottle. So let's see how many we got. I honestly think I have 20 to 21. So I was looking for 15 to 20 and 20 to 21 um, of these guys. So what did I come to the conclusion of? Well, I really hate sticking my stinking hand all the way in the tank. And I also think that my water bottle was too light. So the water bottle method worked and I kept it in there for like 18 hours. So if you want something that's kind of like a laid back method, do it that way. Put in the water bottle, do the DIY, and it should be easy to... What I'll probably do next time is use a smaller water bottle because that big one was kind of just kind of cumbersome and just took up a lot of space and it kind of floated so I had to wedge it in between things. Might use a smaller, thicker water bottle, might find something else, but for a DIY project, for free essentially, because I had all the stuff laying around, catching all those bristle worms, I mean, it beats sticking my hand in the water and I am like soaked um, up to my elbows. So I think the water bottle's a win. So guys, if you haven't done so, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, don't forget, I come back with you all the time with DIY projects, a little bit of tank updates. So if you like probably a DIY bristle worm trap or anything else I have coming out, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and I will see you next time. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh, I see you. You're smushing daddy's head. Uh, no, that's daddy's ear. I'm gonna be deaf when I'm older, son. You're gonna look back at this video and be like, this is the day that daddy lost his hearing. What are you doing? Do not bite me.